What's happening everybody? Welcome back to Steve's Random Stuff. Today I wanted to do a, a little video about the channel, give you a little history about uh, why I started it, where it's going, and um, a little bit about myself. Um, before I get into that, I just want to say, you know, um, uh, this is a fairly new channel. You know, I don't have any, any sponsors currently um, on any of the products that I do mention on the, in the videos. Uh, products I do mention are stuff that I've used for a lot of years, I've had a lot of success with, and um, you know, the products that I that I trust. Uh, so the only the only product that um, I'd say it, it's kind of somewhat of a sponsor, but it's really more of a father son deal, is uh, Bass, Slayer, Bass Slayer baits, and Bass Slayer makes some really great A rigs, um, like these ones right here. Um, you can see these um, wide variety of uh, blade types. You can get chrome blades, um, gold blades, painted blades. You can get them also without blades, like this one here. Um, he'll do custom stuff, different sizes. This one here actually has the two top ones that are a little shorter than the bottom ones. Um, some are made where they're all equal and such. So um, really tough baits. Uh, one of his customers actually caught a striped bass um, close to 50 pounds recently. So if they'll hold up to a 50 pound bat, uh, striped bass, I'm sure they'll hold up to a five pound largemouth. So if you haven't checked them out yet, check out Bass to Liar Baits. I will uh, put a link down in the description um, for him. You can get them on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I think it's bass.slayer.baits um, on those channels. All right, so moving on. Um, as far as the channel goes, I created the, the account really on YouTube over 10 years ago. I did that primarily because I was a uh, one of the founding board members of United Anglers at Casa Grande, which is a high school fish hatchery program um, located at Casa Grande High School in Petaluma, California. Um, the program is uh, has a fully functioning operating fish hatchery at the high school, and the students there get to learn about the hatchery management, the ecology, and a wide range of uh, topics. Uh, that program is um, currently run by uh, Mr. Dan Hebacher. Does a great job, and it's a now a uh, accredited um, prerequisite for uh, for college um, for as a science class. So you can check them out at uh, uacg.org, and again, I'll put that information down on the bottom as well. Um, after that, I put some videos on there from Albacore fishing that I did with uh, one of our uh, fellow board members. And we went out uh, 60 to 70 miles um, off the off the Pacific coast, um, out of the Golden Gate Bridge, and um, caught albacore up to you know 25 and 30 pounds. And so did that like two or three years, and did some videos on that, and had a good time. Had a lot of albacore after those trips to share with everybody. Um, then there's a few miscellaneous videos in there, but really the channel was somewhat dormant for 10 years. After that, and till recently, when um, uh, I finally did a video on my Champion 196, and I did that video because when I was looking to buy the boat back in 2015, I really couldn't find much information on that particular model um, as far as the layout goes and the features of the boat. So I finally got around to doing that video. Um, took a while, but I really didn't have the technology and the the information, you know the. The camera and stuff to do that video but I finally got that one out um, and that's kind of where things started going um, did a few random videos you can say after that as far as like making jam um, a cooler review that we bought uh, and a few things so that's kind of where the, the name came out because um, just really some random topics that I was doing and um, uh, I really, you know, really didn't want to focus on one specific item um, or one topic for the videos. And the, the videos I do, and especially when I first started doing these, was mainly to kind of fill the gaps of things that I wasn't finding online. Whether it was the, the, my boat or um, the other topics, you know, I look for information, look for help doing uh, different things like making the cornhole boards and stuff. And there's a lot of great content out there, uh, a lot of videos, but sometimes you just don't find what you're looking for. Um, and so I, I kind of did some of those videos. And you know, more recently, I did the repair of my Traeger grill just because I couldn't find anything on that particular model. So I did my own. Um, and then recently, I kind of got into just doing the uh, 
videos on Lake Sonoma fish reports. And again, it's something that hasn't really been done. There's a few miscellaneous reports that people did, but some of them are old and nothing really current. Or, um, so I'm trying to do more of those and get the information on Lake Sonoma out there. You know, it's a really great lake to fish, even with the low water, um, especially during the inclement weather when we get the high winds like we did a few weeks ago. Um, lake Sonoma, Lake Berryessa, and, and maybe even the Delta can get really nasty um, when the winds are blowing 20, 30 miles an hour. So you can always get to Lake Sonoma. Um, even with the high winds, you're not going to get those four and five foot waves across the main lake like you do elsewhere. So it's a good lake to, to fish. You can always get into some of those coves and get out of the wind and get in protected areas. So uh, fun lake to fish. Um, most of the fish are, you know, probably that two to three foot pound range. Uh, a lot of smaller fish as well, but um, uh, there are some bigger fish in that lake. I have caught a couple seven pounders over the years. Um, a friend of mine caught a 10 pounder one year out there. So there are some big fish. Um, there's a little bit more finicky to get, but uh, a lot of trees, a lot of wood. Now, if you haven't been there before, um, it's a pretty good challenge. And uh, it's not a big lake, but it's kind of a long lake with the fingers and getting up some of the creeks. Um, so that's Kind of where the channel's going again i'm just trying to kind of fill the gaps of, of things that i'm not finding online with with the content that i'm putting out um you know i didn't want to be just like every other channel that's out there um doing the same thing you know it, it just doesn't make sense when there's other people that, that are doing that um putting out content that's probably a lot better than what i'm doing but you know i'm still a beginner still working on it trying to get better as i go and learn as i go um and, and that's uh, kind of where it, where it's been um, going forward. I'm looking at um, possibly getting a GoPro camera, uh, hopefully sooner than later. I'd like to get that before uh, our club tournament um, uh, at Bullard's Bar Reservoir in May. Um, so hopefully I can get some good content from that. And I'll be up there fishing for four days, uh, including two days of the club tournament. So um, it's a great lake if you've never been there uh, in the past trips that we've gone with the club. I've caught two spotted bass over seven, one over six, and one over five. And those are a lot of fun to catch, especially when um, you're using light line. And a couple of those came on light line, like a six, you know, eight pound test, I think, um, was a couple of them um, with the finesse bait. And the other ones came on probably a 10 or 12 pound line. Um, but that's coming up next month. So we'll, we'll hopefully get that camera by then and, and learn how to use it. and and get some video for you all. Um, now a little about me. Um, I really kind of started fishing back in probably the early 90s uh, when my kids were little, really to kind of to get them out um, into nature and get them out away from the TV and video games. Um, although we did like playing Sega back back in the day and had a lot of fun with that. But uh, just to get out and um, try something different, get out and uh, we used to go camping with our, our good friends and neighbors and uh up to blue lakes and so we would go out there and do trout fishing and stuff in my little aluminum boat from there i kind of graduated um uh, later on to a um, 17 foot fishing ski boat um which was kind of the family boat and uh, used that for several years um after joining the club back in the late 90s and then um Along the line, I fished the uh, FLW. Actually, I fished the One Bass um, team tournaments. It was the Vineyard region back then, fishing Clear, Clear Lake and Berryessa um, with my good friend Max Riggs. And um, we did pretty well over over the couple of years or a few years that we fished that circuit. Um, our best finish, I think, was the second place at Clear Lake. We had, I think, just over 25 pounds, including a nine pounder that Max had caught and uh, missed out on first place by something like a half a pound. So it was pretty close. Um, after that, I fished the uh, FLW circuit for a couple years. Um, I think I started out as a strand series and then became the FLW, um, fishing Lake Shasta, the Delta, and Clear Lake. Learned a lot from that as a co-angler. Um, then moved over to the One Bass Pro-Ams for a couple years. Again, fishing those same bodies of water. Um, fished with a lot of different people, a lot of great pros. Um, like Greg Gutierrez at Shasta, I fished with him one year and, and fished with a couple guys out on the Delta that were really, really good. Um, so I had a lot of fun doing that. Again, learning a lot about those bodies of water, especially the Delta. Um, just 
getting around on the Delta is a challenge. And so going out with a pro in that capacity is really a, a good benefit. Um, and then after that, uh, I kind of quit those big tournaments and um, just stuck with the club and been doing that ever since. And, you know, we do our tournaments once a month. Uh, it's a great way to, to get started if you're just a beginner bass fisherman. It's a great way to get out on the water um, with somebody who knows the bodies and um, uh, can learn, you, know, you can learn techniques from. You know, I learn from other people still. And, and again, I like sharing that knowledge with other people uh, that come into the club and, and getting them out in the water. Some people have never been on a bass boat before. So uh, getting out there is, is a pretty good experience. And I, I always remember my first experience uh, on a bass boat um, at Lake Berryessa. And it's pretty thrill if you like going fast. Um, but yeah, it's pretty exciting. And I've been doing that, like I said, I've been doing it since the, the uh, late 90s as far as bass fishing goes. Um, so that's really kind of what's going on with the channel. Uh, again, I want to continue to grow, grow this. We hit, um, hit the 100 uh 100 subscriber mark the last couple weeks and so that's growing uh that's kind of the first milestone uh next milestone will be 500 and then of course once you hit the thousand milestone um it's it's really kind of moving along so i'm just trying to like like i said fill the gap uh put out some content that nobody else is doing and get the information out there to everybody to help you um, become a better angler uh other topics that i might come up with you know Again, I'll try and keep it random. Done some stuff about my new uh, Ram 1500 that I recently purchased, and I'll probably do a couple of follow up videos on that. Come in the, in the future uh, once that's all settled. I've had it for almost um, almost two months. I'm still waiting on the registration. So um, that's kind of frustrating. Um, anyway, so that's the channel. I hope you all like the content. Um, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and try and put out content, you know, every every week or so of information. Um, I may be getting up to Lake Sonoma this week, uh, midweek, and so I'll get a report on that. The weather's been good. Um, and I think it's just going to continue getting better. This fish will be up there spawning pretty quick. So anyway, stay tuned to the channel. Hit that like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and uh, we'll all catch you later. Thanks for watching.